What's going on everybody? So there's been some questions about the charging port in the Model 3. Sometimes when the car is in a deep sleep, you walk out, you really can't unlock the charging port very easily by holding the button down with some phones. Some people with some Android phones have had some issues. Sometimes I have some issues. I have an iPhone 10. Sometimes it's like that. So we're going to plug it in. It's a lie! And then I'm gonna walk away and let the car go to sleep with the charging port lock up and everything. The phone is not gonna be connected. We'll come back in a minute. So what I actually did, I turned off the Bluetooth on my phone so there's no connection anymore. And when you hit the button, it doesn't come out. You don't see, let me show you here, the blinking green light when you hit the button, it doesn't turn to yellow. I actually got a notification on my watch and my phone letting me know that there was interruption with the charging port. We're gonna leave that alone. We're gonna go out and check the mail and uh, turn my Bluetooth on while I'm out there and walk up to the charging port and I'll show you what happens. Ooh, sprinklers just came on. So I'm back from checking the mail. Sprinklers came on, my fountains came on. So we have Bluetooth on. I'm going to walk up to the charging port and it releases. One of the main differences, I'm gonna plug it back in. One of the main differences with the iPhone and versus Android phones is the Bluetooth connection. The Bluetooth connection on the iPhone is very strong. I usually don't have any problems with the doors, unlocking the doors. The antenna is actually right here in the mirror. There's actually two antennas in here. The phone has a very strong Bluetooth connection to this. So if I walk up, if I walk up from the front of the car and come by the mirror, for the most part, once I unlock the charging port, or hit the button for the charging port, it normally comes right out. Now, if I come from the other side of the garage and come straight across and I, I'm not by that mirror, a lot of times it won't unlock, it won't pull out. Sometimes I'll have to push in on one of the door doors just a little bit to release it um, or push the trunk button once and it will release the door. Even when it's in a deep sleep, even when this is not flashing anymore because the car does go into deep sleep. That way it doesn't draw attention to the car in a parking lot if you're charging out there in the open. They see that blinking light, probably draws attention to somebody. This will shut off eventually. And that's when the car goes into deep sleep. For the most part, if you walk with an iPhone, if you walk by the front mirror, or even the passenger side mirror, there's an antenna in that mirror as well. You, if you walk by here to un, undo the car, unplug the car, most of the time it will unlock. Just like most of the time, the phone will work with the door. 99% of the time, with an iPhone. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. 